feel like I'm one third of the way done. It's okay, Moose is not picky. He'll he'll appreciate it either way. <laughs> Lauren, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so here's the situation. First of all, my voice is completely muffled right now because of this hat and I'm like, where, where's my voice coming from? What's going on? What's going on? I'm a little discombobulated right now. I've also been in isolation for like a week and a half now. So uh, great to talk to you guys. I've only been talking to Jeremy and Moose for the last 12 days going a little bit cuckoo. Anyways, you guys might remember that I arm knitted a blanket. This one right here, maybe like a year and a half ago, two years ago. It was in this room, so it had to be within the last two years. Anyways, this thing is a monster, and I'm not gonna lie, it's not that soft. So I wanted to take a stab at doing a second one since all we have right now is a ton of free time at home, and what better use of this time than to make another arm knit blanket? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm not entirely sure if I ordered enough because this is a much different type of like yarn. I don't even know if this is still called yarn. It's like cotton yarn. It's very like t-shirt material-y feeling, <laughs> but it's way softer and the color was really cute. So I wanted to give it a try. I have three of these and I'm gonna be honest, didn't do a great job of figuring out how much of this I actually need to make a full size blanket. So TBD, this may end up being a blanket for moose. I'm not entirely sure. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna toss some of these to the side just while we work with the fur. Okay, why is everything unraveling already? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a mess, I'm a mess, I'm struggling. So I'm gonna link a really solid, proper, amazing tutorial on how to do this since this is more just like us chilling and hanging out right now while we're social distancing given the circumstances. So I'm gonna let the professional give you an actual tutorial. I'll have that link down below. That's where I learned. I spent the morning walking through it a little bit. I've done this before, so I feel like it kind of came back a little bit, but like, we gon' see! <laughs> Anyways, I'm excited to use this. I wish you could feel it. It's like a really soft, like, cottony rope almost. I feel like rope is a more appropriate term than yarn. But I'm excited to see how this turns out. Uh, this one is so heavy, so cute. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. My beef with this one is that it catches every single hangnail that you possibly have. That's just not it. That ain't the vibe. That ain't the vibe. Great hat matching vibes today. I'm a mess, I'm a mess. I'm literally losing my mind. <laughs> Let me know how you guys are doing in self-isolation um, and social distancing. This is crazy, can't believe we're living through this. Also, the vlog channel's popping right now since uh, I'm just at home doing nothing, so basically just vlogging if you're not subscribed to the vlog channel. We just surpassed 100,000 subscribers, which is amazing. I'm so excited. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my God, I forget everything already. So we do this, we do this, Oh no, I forget everything. I forget everything. I forget everything. I forget everything. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Here, 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 here? That looks right but doesn't feel right. Oh, I took like three seconds to set the cameras up and I forget everything. Okay, I'm gonna go back to her tutorial. Okay, here we go. Wait, what? Oh, grab the working yarn through and here. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That feels right, that feels right, that feels right. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? Okay, yeah, yeah, that's totally right. Okay, here we go. Dang, I'm like worried that I didn't buy enough because I feel like this is already pretty small. It's okay, we'll make Moose a blanket if this doesn't turn out. This goes here, this goes over here. Twist. Oh no, oh wait, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. She's ahead of me, she's ahead of me. Okay, here, here, and then I go under, over, and this. Nope, nope, that definitely was not right. Okay, here. <laughs> I forget everything. <laughs> oh yeah, here. And then she turns this one and then it's under. No, no, no. Oh wait, no, it's under this one, over this one and pull this one through. Yes, 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 Maggie, we got this girl. We got this. Maggie, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Okay, here, here. That wasn't pretty, but we got there. We got there. <laughs> also, my shoulder muscles are already hurting from holding my arm up. I'm such a baby. <laughs> 
I just did an arm workout yesterday and I feel like the timing on this was terrible. Anyways, I hope you guys are holding up in the midst of all of this. This is so crazy. I like haven't been out into the world and I'm not even kidding a week and I definitely need to go get groceries today. We're like super good on canned goods and pantry stuff, but we have no fruit and veggies. We have no milk, no eggs. So got to go out into the world again, but I hope you guys are staying safe and with your loved ones. Hopefully you guys are staying home and practicing social distancing. This is literally so crazy. Like I have to sneeze. Oh no. It's not a COVID-19 sneeze. I promise. It's just allergies. Yeah, not a good time to have allergies. Not a good time to have spring allergies at all. <laughs> This is getting kind of tight. Maybe I didn't make this loose enough. I'm gonna have like sausage arms in a second if I don't loosen this up a little bit. I'm gonna zoom through this. We'll be back in a sec. <gasps> is this supposed to get small? went wrong I feel like but it looks right like that looks like like all these stitches are the same Maggie what do I do what do I do okay please hold please hold okay we're back I think I'm back on track everything just looks different because this is a totally different type of fabric but we're back we're back in business I'm gonna try and not cut the circulation off on this arm this time because things are just just not going well for the blood flow over here and I would like to keep my arms today that looks wrong is that wrong oh god see everything just looks different so anyways uh hopefully this turns out looking like the blanket that oh my god <laughs> These are way too tight. Oh god, there we go. Okay. We in the flow now though, you know? I'm gonna keep it looser. Look at me go, y'all. Also, I was just able to order this off of Amazon and obviously it's not an essential product, so it did take a little bit of time to come. But if you're looking for something to do to pass time, definitely highly recommend this. As you can see, it's going really well so far. <laughs> Actually, this is gonna end up being really small, I think. <laughs> That's okay, that's okay, that's okay, that's totally fine. It's still cute though, I mean like I'm down with this fabric. It's almost like a weighted blanket material, like not, but like almost. Okay, things are definitely happening. I feel like I definitely see some potential mess ups where things got You know what? I'm gonna do this again. Maybe just on the vlog channel, but I'll get more of like the actual yarn fabric. Also, I think this is about to be a, a real small little baby blanket for Moose because I've already done my first one. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie on my second uh, little ball of pink whatever this is. It honestly looks like marshmallow candy, I think. Also, don't come for me, but I low-key love circus peanuts and the little marshmallow bananas and strawberries. They slap. I don't want to hear it. I know it's a controversial opinion, but um, I probably keep them in business, let's be honest. I'm gonna attach on my next one. I feel like this isn't even gonna tie well. <laughs> okay, that feels pretty good. And uh, we just gonna keep going. I have really got myself into a pickle here by starting this too tight and now it's just going to continuously be I think a little too tight but I've done it to myself so you know I just have to live with the the choices that I've made and I understand that yeah 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 we got it we in a groove now I got it I got it it's all coming back to me also guys uh, with the whole social distancing stuff and self-isolation my nails are so ratchet right now and so I had the idea for next Sunday I ordered everything to do my own acrylic nails so I have like the gel UV light and I have acrylic like dip powder stuff on top of my real nails to keep them strong and I have like the most amazing nail girl ever Diane if you're watching this I'm so sorry that I'm about to really mess up my nails I think but <laughs> girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do my nails are so ratchet and like I don't think we're coming out of quarantine anytime soon and I'm gonna take a stab at doing my own nails <laughs> next week so stay tuned for that I think it's gonna be really entertaining again Diane if you're watching this if your daughter's watching this I'm so sorry that I'm probably about to hardcore mess up my nails but I, I got no other options because we just like can't go out to the nail salon we can't get our hair done lashes about to be ratchet nails about to be ratchet so um stay tuned for that I even ordered that like electric drill filer thingy like I ordered everything is this looking like a blanket I'm unsure I guess it kind of is this is gonna be such a tiny little blanket I feel like I'm one third of the way done it's okay moose if moose is not picky he'll he'll appreciate it either way I just don't know I don't know 
I just feel like this is not as forgiving as regular yarn. It is really soft though. Oh man, okay, well I'm determined and I also have a ton of free time now to do another one. Cause it's honestly, once you get into the groove of this, it's something that'd be so easy to just like put on your favorite show and do this. Guys, let me know if you have any TV or movie recommendations for me to stay busy. I've been watching so much YouTube. I've been watching so much TikTok. I've listened to so many podcasts on a podcast front. I don't know, I'm about to suddenly drop this and maybe we haven't talked about this, but I'm starting a podcast soon. Super excited about it actually. I mean, if you watch the vlogs, like you know, that a podcast is like a big thing that's happening soon. I've already started redecorating a room to be the podcast room. I haven't announced the co-host yet, but I'm really excited. It's not anything about DIY. A lot of you guys are trying to guess what the content's gonna be about. It's not a DIY podcast. Like what would you talk about on a DIY podcast? I'm not even sure, but uh, I'm super excited coming soon. Hopefully within the next few months, uh, I'll be able to do the first episode. We're just getting everything sorted, getting our logos done and all the fun design. But yeah, on a, like an entertainment front, please let me know what you guys are watching and for others in the comments because I'm sure a lot of you guys are bored out of your minds right now not being in school and not being able to go out and stuff. I totally get it. I'm right there with you. The group FaceTime situation is the best thing ever. I just had a group FaceTime date last night with uh, Asian Girl Squad and it was so much fun. Even though this is like a really weird time, I feel like there are some really nice things coming out of this that have been really sweet. Like my neighborhood has had more people walking in it than I've ever seen before. Obviously, at six feet apart in social distancing stay out of my bubble in my six feet But it's so nice to see so many people getting outside and getting exercise. I sound like my mom uh, I'm fully aware of that, but I don't know I just feel like we're all in this together and it's such a weird feeling to be in such a pandemic Crisis like something so scary, but everyone coming together in really nice ways to donate and work together And just you know keep things as positive as possible for everyone else. Oh my gosh This is literally gonna be a baby blanket. <gasps> That's all I have have left. Oh my god, I think I have to end it. This is like a little, a carpet. This is a rug. Ew, this looks like poo from the back. What's going on? Okay, so that's the front for sure. Ugh. Okay, as soon as this video ends, I'm gonna go on Amazon and find a whole bunch of yarn and we're gonna make a massive like family size blanket. We gonna do this again. Wow, I really did not read like the instructions of how much I needed. Okay, I gotta go back to Maggie and figure out how to end this so I can show Moose his little bath mat that I made him. Again, Moose does not discriminate against soft things. I think he'll be a big fan so we can go show him his new blanket actually This actually might be really cute in the bottom of his bed because it's pretty cushy. I think he might like it Okay, BRB. I need to consult Maggie on how to finish off this like last situation and whatever it off Okay, well this <laughs> What an accurate representation for how the world is going right. Is that a drone outside of my house right now? I can't tell. Oh my God, I'm like, do I duck? I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm sure there's a totally normal explanation for why there's a drone outside of my house right now. Um, oh my God, it's still there. Okay, there's gotta be like a totally normal explanation for why there's a drone that's like floating outside of my window, right? What? Let's be super rational about this. I live in like a cute neighborhood. Maybe they're getting some like exterior footage of other things. <laughs> Is it gone? Oh my god, I'm like actually freaked out a little bit. That was super weird and I hated every bit of that a lot. Oh my god, it's back, it's back, it's back, it's back. I think it's the house across from me maybe. Yeah, it's definitely the house across from me. Or I have a stalker. I think it's fine. We're fine. It's fine. I'm not that interesting. There's no way I have a stalker. Okay, so my little tiny baby blanket for Moose is... Okay, you know what this fabric is just not it. I really picked it out because I was like, oh This is definitely gonna be softer and like cushier, but it's just it's I don't know This just like ends up looking so much better So I'm gonna try and find something in between this and this for like softness Because this is definitely like cushier and feels like a weighted blanket for sure, but Oh no. Anyways, this has been a fun little chat. What a fail lol, but let's go see if Moose likes it. <laughs> well, thank God someone likes it. Jeremy, you blanket hater. That's not a blanket. <laughs> That's so mean. Moose, what do you think, Bubba? It's kind of like perfect size, honestly, just to cover one moose. You look so handsome. You look so handsome. A little no 
not so very good DIY blanket burrito. Clorox wipes? We got the goods. Oh my god. I keep that thing on. Holy grail products. How did you get those? Why'd you have to trade? <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed what almost was a DIY video. I hope you guys enjoyed just hanging out with me though. Um, you're staying safe, you're social distancing, you're staying home. If your lifestyle and your employer and the whole situation permits you to, please, please, please stay home. We have to do what we can to flatten this COVID-19 curve. I know it can be tough not seeing your friends, but try and stay busy and occupied. FaceTime your friends, check up on your loved ones. And lucky for you, I have a whole channel full of probably like a thousand plus DIYs you could potentially do to help kill some time. So anyways, try and stay positive. I love you guys so much. Go check out the vlog channel if you haven't already. I will see you guys on the vlog channel for the next vlog and again next Sunday for another Sunday. Ah, wow. Okay, bye guys. Love you. I'm the DIY queen, that's the royal elite. My pretty little kingdom out here running the